main objective of the experiment we have chosen to perform is to determine the specific heat of certain solids by the method of calorimetry. This involves learning how to distinguish and use direct laboratory materials, for example, the calorimeter. For this experiment, the methodology to be followed is to heat the water at a specific temperature, and then at the solid block. When the water and the solid reach an equal temperature, we can obtain the specific heat of the solid. We must be careful with the water temperature and the mass of each block because the quantity of water should be proportional to the size of the block, or then the result may vary. Calculate the specific heat of the solid. Temperature, measurement that indicates how hot or cold something is. Heat is not new energy, it is the transfer of energy between two bodies or objects. Specific heat, the heat capacity per mass unit, not the object but the material. Specified by specific heat and mass of the object. The amount of heat per unit mass required to change temperature 1 degree. Formula doesn't apply if a phase change is given because the change in heat doesn't change phases. Heat capacity, constant of the proportion of heat and an object gains or loses and the change in temperature given. Laws, through long petite law. The modern theory states that it is because of lattice vibrations in solid matter. States the molar specific heat capacity of a crystal. The heat capacity per weight of several substances was almost constant only after it was multiplied by radio representing the relative atomic weight of a substance. Law of conservation of energy. Energy can't be created nor destroyed, but it can change through phase transition, example, chemical energy into kinetic energy. Formulas. Equilibrium temperature, average specific heat, specific heat corresponding to a given temperature, specific heat in a change in temperature, specific heat in a constant temperature. Where delta equals change of a variable, M equals mass, Q equals how much heat needs to be added, T equals temperature of the substance, and C equals a specific heat. First, we filled the inner vessel of the calorimeter with 200 grams of water, measured with a scientific balance. We left it at rest for a specific time, we measured the temperature with the thermometer, and we got 20 degrees Celsius. Next, we started heating the water with the electric grill until it reached 95 degrees Celsius. We placed our solid in boiling water for 2 minutes in order to get the water to arrive to a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, which we measured with the analogical thermometer. To get the measure of the temperature, we connected the thermometer to the interface and select the option of temperature sensor and record. We passed the solid to the inner vessel of the calorimeter and close the lid as quick as possible. We moved up and down the calorimeter and record the highest temperatures. We calculated the temperature that the water reached and the temperature that the solid lost. To know the energy gained, we will use the formula heat absorbed by the water equals its mass times its specific heat times the change in temperature. By knowing the temperature the water gained and assuming the heat was passed from our solid, we can know the temperature our solid has. We stated the equation of heat of material is equal to heat of water. By substitution, we have mass of material times change in temperature times its specific heat is equal to mass of water times its change in temperature times its specific heat, that is 4.184 joules over grams times Celsius degree. Here are the values for each of the material and the specific heat calculated with the equation. Final results we got. We investigated the actual specific heats of such materials. Our results were right because we assumed that all the heat lost by the material winds up in the water. In reality, this is not the case. In an actual experiment, the heat transfer will not be 100%. Heat transfer always occurs in one direction, from a region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature until some final equilibrium temperature is reached. In this experiment, heat is transferred from a hot material sample to a colder water sample. Because each material has a different specific heat, each material will cause the temperature of the water to increase to a different extent.